The Ministry of Health recently held a sensitization session with the Rastafari community aimed at bringing awareness and building confidence among them of the COVID-19 vaccine and the policy. Family Life Educator in the Bureau of Health Education, Naomi Grandison, says it is necessary to engage the Rastafari community in dialogue as they also play an important part in combating the COVID-19 pandemic. There are persons within the um, community who are interested in taking the vaccine, but there, the misconceptions have been out there. So we're hoping that the information brought forward for these persons can help them to clarify um, some of those misconceptions so that they'll be more open. And for those who have their belief and their faith that we can find a way we, that we respect it and we give them the reassurance that this process this um, vaccine is voluntary. This is a policy of the government that it be voluntary and persons not be forced to take the vaccine. And this is something that is very um, important for their principle and their practice. So giving that reassurance too also helps us to develop that level of trust. And, um, you know, hopefully it's not, it's not just about the vaccination, but also the trust and the collaboration between um, the two of us. Ambassador of the Ethiopia Africa Black International Congress, EABIC, the Honorable Pris Kailash Leo says, despite a Rastafari community opposing to vaccination in general, they welcome the discussion with health officials and chat a way forward. Our main focus is that, that the members of the Rastafari community who do choose to take the vaccine, that they have that assurance that if it is that, that um, any harm is caused to them after taking the vaccine, that they will be duly compensated or they will be taken care of if it is that there is some adverse side effect or there is something that happens to them. And also, so for the people who do not intend to take the vaccine and to maintain that principle, that they have that official exemption that will not prevent them from actually moving and, and, and participating in their, in their everyday activity or whatever means of economic achievements that they have to actually do. The Ministry of Health reminds the public that the choice to receive the COVID-19 vaccine is voluntary. Reporting from the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health and Wellness, I am Fennel Neptune.